Here we go. So guys, let's clean the trunk and uh, other parts of the car. So I will use a high pressure cleaning tool that I purchased on the internet. I will release more information at the end of the video, but that's an amazing result for an amazing price. So here are the tools you will need. A vacuum cleaner that is not on the picture. You need a bucket to clean your high pressure tool, an air compressor, some degreaser, a spray bottle to spray your degreaser, extension cord maybe, and of course some cloth, uh, microfiber cloth. So let's get started and let's start vacuuming the car first. Remove all debris as much as you can. And you will notice that a lot of videos are going a little bit faster. So you guys don't get bored and just see the results and not the entire project. But it's still fairly quick. After a good vacuuming, then I would get started and you see the stain. Uh, I will show that you have some pretty good stains. Uh, that car is 15 years old. I always assumed those were stains and they're here to stay until I've seen that high pressure tool similar as a tornado, though it is not a tornado. So let's see what we can learn. So first phase, as you can see, I used regular dishwasher and I just wanted to see the results starting the easiest way, uh, something that everybody can do, no matter what, you always have dishwasher at home. I was not satisfied with the result, though it was fairly, fairly good and very acceptable. So considering that the stains are pretty hard ones and have been here for a long time, so I let you judge. You'll see that the pattern, you know, you go left, right, up and down, just overlap, go, pretty slow but not too slow. You'll see the container, I fill it up with warm water, I think it works better to degrees. Uh, the entire container is about a cart and it, told, it took me more than a project before I could empty that. I still had some leftover. Check those stains inside. I don't know what it is, coffee, hot chocolate, was before I purchased the car. This car was on your backup, going to get wood and stuff like that. Uh, you see on the side panel of the door, pretty strain stained as well inside those compartments. So this is uh, this is the result after the phase one dish soap. I could have stopped right there. It is acceptable. I wanted something a little bit better. And I have some all purpose degrees there. You notice that after each project, I blow, I push the valve on the air position and blow like a couple two, three times in clean water and it will remove all the debris. Here is a phase two, all purpose degrees there. Spray some everywhere. That's what I did. I let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Just to make sure it has a chance to activate. You see a before and after picture. It's pretty decent. I'm still going to give it another shot and see how it looks like after that one. I will also go in more details, such as the grid on the front side. Because with such tool, you can go in every crevices. It's very handy. Like I said, a coat. I did not use the full coat cleaning the entire car. It's amazing what you can do. So it is moist, but it's not like tons of water. When you do that on plastic, just use your microfiber cloth to wipe around on flat areas so you 
because you will need to use air to blow that out of those little crevices. But again, it's showing you the result, it's not teaching you how to use that. This was my first time and it is very, very easy to use. Guys, like I promised, while we are still cleaning the car, check the next screen. Look at the price, you won't believe it. Not $160 tornado. This is what I bought. This is all the information from eBay. $15.49, $16.42 included, tax included. You cannot beat that. Get that tool. You'll be amazed with the result. Uh, like I experienced. You see things on TV, you see things on YouTube and everything looks amazing until you do it and you're always a little upset. This is working already well and the price is so cheap you, you can pass that. Give it a try, enjoy and cleaning your car will become a pleasure, I can guarantee you. Enjoy guys. Look at I'm going to switch the valve from water to air position. Here we go. That's what you want to do. Blow with water a little bit, then air dry everything in the crevices. Just wipe around with your microfiber cloth and you'll be amazed with the result. Easy and very efficient.
Check the result, guys. It is amazing. Look at that. If you have any question, don't hesitate. Put a comment, ask some question. I will help you as much as I can, but don't pass that opportunity. Very cheap way to get an excellent result. See ya, guys.